Hello everybody, it's Susan Marchand, the Tacky Manor. This uh, video blog, this week's video blog I should say, is a, a question I get asked probably weekly by people who are just breaking into the virtual assistant business. And that question is, how many clients do I need to take on at any time? And I think it's important to understand that it's really not the number of clients that you need, it's really the amount of money you need. Each of us should have a base figure of how much we need to earn to keep the lights on. Now that may be different than how much you want to earn, which for me, those are two significantly different numbers. One is how much I need to earn to keep the lights on. One is how much I want to earn. So those should be two numbers that you should really um, understand as part of your journey into becoming a virtual assistant. So back to my question or the question I'm asked constantly is how many clients do I need to take on? So we're gonna spin that and say, not how many clients do I need to take on, but how many hours do I need to work? Because let's face it, as a virtual assistant, most of us start off as an hourly person, which means we are charging our clients hourly to do them um, some type of service, whether it's working in WordPress or sending out their newsletter or whatever it may be. So you are now what I would call an hourly worker. And that was a shock for me because I had been in corporate for 20 years and I'd always been a salaried employee, which means I got paid whether I worked or not. When I became an hourly employee, it was an eye-opening experience for me because if you don't work, you don't get paid. So one of the things that you're gonna to need to do, and I think this is so important for those of you who are just beginning this journey, is to figure out how much money you need to earn. How much do you need to earn to keep the lights on and to have a comfortable living? And then what you need to do is you need to take that number and divide it by your hourly rate, whatever it is, $35, $45, $50. And that's going to give you the amount of hours you need to work per week to bring in the amount of income that you need. Now you could do it per week. You could do it per month. I always did it per week. And what's so important is you need a tool that can track all this for you for two reasons. One, to make sure that you are billing enough hours and two, to also tell you if you have too many clients or not enough clients. So this is why I'm always saying you have to get a task management system, whether it's teamwork, which is what I use, or Asana or Basecamp or 17 Hats or Trello. If you Google task management systems, you're gonna find hundreds of them. And here's the key. Don't go with one just because I recommend it or somebody else recommends it. Find one that works for you because they're all different, but they all have the same capabilities. What's really different is the way that they that they interface or work with the user. You need to find one that you don't um, struggle with or fight with because if you have a system that you're fighting with, you're not going to use it and it's a struggle and it's stressful. Find one that makes sense to you and use it and use it consistently. Have your clients use it because this is how you're going to be able to measure the health of your business. Are you working enough? Do you need to take on more clients? Or maybe you have too many and you have to outsource your extra work. So once again, when it comes to how many clients do I take on, you wanna spin that to how many hours do you need to work? You can divide your hourly um, goal by your rate and you can do it weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever. I always did it weekly because I could average it out to see how I was doing on any given week. And realize if you're planning to take time off, um, you're gonna need to figure out how you're gonna cover those hours because if you're not working, you're not getting paid. Now, I'm not talking to those of you who are doing packages, that's different. I'm just talking to those of you who are doing hourly work like myself was when I first started. So it's not based on the number of clients, it's based on the hours because in reality, you could have one client that fills all the hours that you need. They could do 40 hours a week. Now, I don't recommend putting all your eggs in one basket, but you could actually have two clients that uh, use up all the available time that you have, or you could have 10 clients. So it's not the number of clients, it's the number of hours. And once again, how do we come to that number? You need to know how much you need to earn and everybody's different. So you need to figure that out first. And remember, when you leave your job behind, you're going to cut some expenses. So if you have daycare expenses or travel expenses or commuting expenses, you know, dry cleaning, eating out, all of those things can either be cut or are completely wiped out. But you need to know what that number is. And remember, it's not a one for one, which means if you figure out what your salary is in corporate or whatever your job is, and let's say you figure out in your, your, um, your salary is equal to $35 an hour in real world, it's not true because 
when you're working like I was at a corporate job, they cover your taxes, your benefits. I mean, they do all of that for you. Your salary, as well as your vacation and sick time. When you move away from being employed, that information or that difference has to be covered in your hourly rate. So make sure that you really understand what your hourly rate is. And I have a free um, rate calculation sheet on my website at thetechiemanner.com. It's under the free forms section, so you'll find it under freebies. You're welcome to go in there and download that. Then that's based on the US. But if you need a copy that's unlocked, you can change a bunch of the figures. You can just shoot us an email, info at thetechiemanner.com, request an unlocked copy. The reason it's locked is so that way you don't change the formulas. But I, I welcome you to figure out what your true rate is and then take that rate by the number of hours that you need to work in order to meet your income goals, whether it's keeping the lights on or how much you want to make. And then once you have that, then you need to set up to fill the number of hours, not the number of clients. So I hope you find this helpful. If you'll take a moment to please leave me a comment below, I would love to hear from you. If you have a strategy, I'd love to hear that. If you have questions and comments, please take a moment to do that. If you're watching this on my website, feel free to leave comments here as well. For those of you who are on my YouTube channel, you can stop over to my website at thetechiemanner.com. And for those of you on my website, you can certainly subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, which there's a button on the connect buttons on my website as well. So thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. If you have requests or questions that you would like me to address, I'd love to hear those as well. You can post them in a comment or you can send them to me at info, I-N-F-O, at thetechiemanner.com and I'll make sure to add them to my list. Thanks so much and I will see you next week. Bye.